The long shot is a power weapon with high kill potential, but requires a good amount of practice and skill to get the most out of it. I'm going to give some quick tips on how to improve your sniping in Gears 5, but I don't have a ton of recent sniper clips from the game, so uh, some of the gameplay will be from Gears 4, but a lot of what I talk about works the same in both games. If you want to see these tips in action or ask any Gears related questions, Max and I stream Gears every Tuesday at 6pm Pacific or 9pm Eastern. I stream at twitch.tv slash btwick and both of our links are down in the description. To start, we're going to break down a little bit about how the weapon works. First things first, the sniper is a precision weapon and the bullet magnetism just got decreased by 50%. So now more than ever, you have to really be accurate. So unlike a lot of my tip videos I've done in the past, this is going to require a bit of practice outside of regular playing. So something to keep in mind is if you're standing still with the sniper, uh, it will fire mostly at the center of your screen, even from a hip fire. From what I can tell, there's just a little bit of variation, but if you get good at aiming the hip fire, there wouldn't be any reasons why you couldn't reliably hit a headshot. But unless you're looking to make montages, don't try to perfect this. Uh, instead, focus on getting the center of your screen lined up as close to your target as possible, and then pop shotting. Pop shotting the sniper while standing still has perfect accuracy. To do this, you'll aim and pull the right trigger immediately after. The best way to practice is that when you're waiting for friends to get on for the day, or you know maybe after a session, uh, I recommend loading up a private lobby. Turn on the one shot, one kill game type and make sure only one bot spawns by locking all slots except one on the enemy team. This will make it easier to ensure you're focusing on just sniping and not dying to random bots. You're also going to set the bot on easy because we're not going to let our egos get in the way of improving here. This is going to give you some easy reps with the weapon that you might not have a chance to get in a real game. If you're newer to the weapon, take a few kills to line up headshots and make sure you hit them. The bot shouldn't ever kill you so you can take your time. As you get a feel for it, start paying attention to how the gun controls for you and start limiting yourself to just less to having less than a second to hit your shots. You'll miss, but in-game you'll have to hit a lot of shots very quickly and being able to do that is the difference between a great sniper and an average sniper. And practice is going to make perfect on this, so really just try to get as quick as you can. To get your time to shooting down, uh, you'll want to work on getting the target as close to the center of your screen before you aim as possible. After that, it should only be small adjustments to make your shot hit. If you find that you're struggling to line up your hip fire effectively, you can feel free to lower your look sensitivity. In Gears 5, having 30 sensitivity on your look is not that important. Uh, same thing if you're overswinging your adjustments while you, you're aiming down sight, or you can turn it up if you're just not moving far enough. Uh, just really play around with it. When you're in game, the biggest tip I have is to solve for Z, or the height of the character. This is easiest on level ground or when the target is slightly above you. While you work on getting comfortable finding the head level on your own, you can use your teammates' heads as reference in the meantime. I use this a lot when sniping from statue to the bridge on foundation in Gears 4. Even with this reference, it can be very hard to solve for all variables while you're above your target, so sniping from above is generally harder unless the opponent is standing still or sitting in cover. It's always easier to predict where the opponent is going to be and let them come to the reticle instead of aiming or switching to them. And players are most predictable mid-animation, so look for players roadie running, shooting, or sliding into cover and work on recognizing where their head will be during those animations. Weaker sniper players will pick a spot that looks natural, something like the overhang on clock tower, and sit there trying to pick off players. But the longer you sit there, the more players will avoid your sight lines. Move around the map to make sure that you're constantly changing your angle of attack. The more the enemy has to worry about you, the more effect you have on the game. A large amount of the power in this weapon comes from the map control, not necessarily the kills. So shift your position to maximize your effect. Body shots are not as cool as headshots, but can still help your team win. Again, we're not letting our egos get in the way. If your teammate is in a fight, hit a body shot to put the opponent at 50% damage, which makes the fight a lot easier for your teammate. You can also body shot and then pull out your snub to secure it down. Now you might be asking what about zooming in? For the most part, I never do that. Some exceptions might be that there are players all the way across the map and it's just easier to see them if you zoom in, but for the most part, you want to avoid it. It takes longer and cuts down on your awareness. Also, when you zoom in, a light flare is shown to enemies and your position is given away to anyone who sees it. Like I said, the sniper takes a lot of practice and there's a lot more to learn, but if any of these tips helps you improve, I would love to see the clips of your new sniping abilities. You can either link them below in the comments or tweet them to me at btwick. I hope you find this video helpful and now go pop some heads.